Welcome to Casual Water Golf. For those of you that haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button now and hit the notification icon to also get notified when new videos get released on here. Today, I'm going to be taking you through my top five golfers of all time. It's purely subjective, but it'll be interesting to get your thoughts in the comment section. So go ahead and leave a comment after you've watched this video and let me know who makes it into your top five golfers of all time. The first one on my list at number five is Phil Mickelson. Even with all the controversy surrounding Lefty at the moment with the Live Tour, he is a player I watched growing up all my life. I've idolized him and I can relate to his style of play. He's quite aggressive, takes on a lot of risk and that's how I played. Phil has won 45 tour events and he's won six majors. He never completed the Grand Slam. He has the most runner-up finishes at the US Open, which is I think six. So that's always prevented him from doing the Grand Slam, but six majors is no easy feat. And winning the last one, at, which is the PGA Tour at 50, simply remarkable. This signature shot, which is on the par five, 13th at Augusta, 200 and something yards to the flag, four foot gap through the trees, hitting it onto the green, stuff of legend, guys. And that's the reason why I love him. And I think he is definitely on my top five. Ben Hogan. Whew, this man needs no introduction. His ball striking was immense. He's one of the five players that has won the Grand Slam. Being a student of the game myself and having watched his swing, oh, what I would give to swing a golf club like Ben Hogan. He won nine majors in total, two Masters, four US Opens, one Open Championship and two PGAs. That is really, really impressive. And I think he won a record 64 times on tour. Not bad. Did you know that back in the day, there were only three major championships? I think the PGA was a match play event back in the day. And there was something called the Triple Crown of Golf, where if you won all three majors in the year, there are only two players in history to have done that. Ben Hogan is one of them. And he won what we call the Triple Crown of Golf, which is the Open, Masters and the US Open. Guess who the other person was that has also won the Triple Crown of Golf? Hint, hint, he wears red on Sundays. Number three, Seve Ballesteros. I think my biggest regret when it comes to the game of golf is that I never got to see Seve play in real life. I relate more to his style of play because he, he was an aggressive golfer and his powers of recovery, simply astonishing. I think the skill level you need to make those shots as you can see here it's just brilliant i think for me i put sevi over ben hogan even though sevi had less wins simply because i relate more to sevi i think the game of golf is all about feel and sevi had that for me there is a really good documentary about him sneaking onto golf courses and i think hitting tree irons on the beach he's self-taught i think as well so very, very impressive. Seve won a total of five major championships. He won two at the Masters and three Open Championships. So really impressive. I think for me, why Seve makes this list and is an absolute must for me as well is his influence on the game. He was a dominant force in the Ryder Cup and he was one of the major reasons why the Europeans established such a strong foothold in the Ryder Cup over the recent years. I think without Seve, this doesn't exist. And that's why I think he cements his place in my top five golfers of all time. Number two. Oh. Number two. Oh. Number two. Oh. Some of you are not going to like me for this, but the number two spot on my top five golfers of all time goes to Tiger Woods. Yes, he's not number one. You can punch me now, but I will explain why. Now, I think, I don't think anyone out there doesn't know who Tiger Woods is. He is, I think, in my generation, the best golfer of all time. I don't think he makes my number one spot, and I will explain why, who I think is better, or what's the best, or the GOAT even if Tiger is a goat, but yeah. Now, Tiger has done a lot for the game. Revolutionized it, made golf sexy, a beast of winning, and a truly, truly massive inspiration for us all when it comes to bouncing back from setbacks. I think what he's done, he doesn't need to prove himself, he doesn't need to win. I think whilst I've been alive, he's been the best golfer out there. 
Now, with that being said, Saiga has been obsessed with chasing titles as well as winning more majors. Tiger's won 82 times, 80 to 82 PGA Tour events. Now let that sink in, 82. Most people don't get to win one. This man has won 82 times. He's also won 15 majors. And the last one at Augusta was simply breathtaking. Now, growing up, you see all the shots Tiger Woods has had. I mean, look at these shots. Amazing. Power, finesse, electrifying, getting the crowd going. He has always been there to give us that next level. Whenever we wanted or thought golf was boring, he's changed the game. Unfortunately for me, he doesn't make my number one spot, even if I do think he's one of the best out there. But I will tell you who is the best golfer of all time, in my opinion. The number one spot on my top five golfers of all time goes to... Jack Nicklaus, the Golden Bear. In my opinion, this is the GOAT, the best golfer of all time. Sim not simply because of his records, but also because of the influence he's had on the game of golf. He's been part of the big three, which was previously Arnold Palmer, Gary Player, as well as Jack Nicklaus. And I think one of the major reasons why I chose Jack is Tiger's personal obsession in chasing the number of major counts. I mean, if it didn't matter, why is Tiger chasing it? And let's put things into perspective here. Jack finished runner-up I think about 19 times in majors. So he, in my opinion, was a beast as well. Jack won 73 times on the PGA Tour, a record 18 majors with six masters, four US Opens, three Open Championships and five PGA Championships. Jack's influence on the game of golf is massive. He has been a beacon and he has led the way in terms of developing the sport as well as designing some exceptional golf courses. So there you have it, people. That is my non-controversial, in my opinion, top five golfers of all time. What are your five? What are your top five golfers? Make sure you leave your comments in the comment section. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Just click the notification icon to get notified when new videos get released on here and stay safe, people, and see you soon.